At Michigan Integrative Health, we find that there are many reasons as to why people receive stem cells. Some of the more common reasons include arthritis, knee pain, some people have bone on bone, back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, and pain in other joints of the body. We've had people even come to receive care for what you would call like a general wellness or overall wellness type of care. And then there's also people that come here because they're trying to avoid further degeneration of their joints where they're looking at potential joint replacements and other forms of surgery. So during our seminar, you are going to learn what stem cells do in your body, how they can actually repair, regrow, and regenerate. We teach the five different types of stem cells that are stem cell forms that are available for care. We're gonna share with you specifically what we offer here. We're gonna share with you the research regarding you know, how long can this last when you get a positive response. And you're gonna hear from patients that have actually received our care, and many of them are probably right from your area. We're gonna share the possible side effects of the care, as well as for those who are interested, we're gonna show you what the cost comes out to be as well. So, if you or someone you know is suffering with a chronic degenerative problem, if you're dealing with pain, chronic pain, and if you're just basically even trying to maybe avoid the drugs or the therapy or the surgery, this is probably exactly what you're looking for because we have a great deal of information to share with you. So at Michigan Integrative Health, we strive to offer the safest, the most effective and the most affordable form of stem cells. Give us a call today at 844-MIHSTEM and we're going to help you find the nearest location to one of our seminars. Again, that's 844-MIHSTEM. And from everyone here at Michigan Integrative Health, we wish you nothing but the very best. All right, and what is your first name, sir? Randall Danny. Randall, where are you from? What city? Sarnia. Excellent. What kind of problems were you having before you came to see us? I had knee problems. Knee problems, and how bad was it? Severe enough that it was, it was painful. Pretty you, bad? Pretty Affecting bad. you on a daily basis? Yeah, on a daily basis, I mean, every day was, was, yeah. uh, was a chore. What about stairs, stuff like stairs, that? Stairs, going time? up the stairs was diff difficult. Going down the stairs, not so bad, but going up the stairs was very difficult. Okay. And let's see now, you've had this treatment that was done, what, five weeks ago? Five weeks, weeks ago? Five weeks ago. What kind of changes have you noticed? I noticed as soon as the injection came, that it wasn't immediate, but I could feel some relief. Put it that way. The next day was, was awesome. Okay. Now, what kind of percentage improvement have you had so far? I would say my left knee, no, my right knee, I should say, was about, I would say about close to 90 90% 90% 90 on the uh, left knee uh, and my left knee was only about 65% free pain so 65% on the left knee 90% roughly on the right knee it's yes. been about four or five weeks and yep. we know we still have months yet for you to continue yep. to heal yep. I notice I'm walking on, on on concrete floors I don't feel the pain wonderful and I when I was said climbing the stairs I don't feel the pain <laughs> And I noticed that even, I, you know, not even, I don't try to run, but I try to increase my gait, and I find that it's not, it's not hurting at all. Awesome. That's great news. I appreciate you sharing this with us. Thank You're you so welcome. much. You're welcome. Okay, can you tell me your name, please? Linda Jones. Linda, where are you from? Amherstburg, Ontario. And Linda, tell me now, uh, what kind of problems were you having before you came here for the stem cell therapy? I had severe pain with arthritis in my knees, everywhere, my arms, my knee, hips, my back, and mostly my knee was why I came, because of, so that the, um, because of the pain that was so bad, it gave me trouble walking, sleeping, doing household chores, everything. Okay, and what were you diagnosed with? Osteoarthritis. Okay, and like how bad was it? Was it, like did they call it a certain name or anything, or was it, you know... Oh, I was bone on bone, he said. Oh, you were bone on bone? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then what was your quality of life then? It wasn't much because I couldn't do too much of anything. I, it, it, the pain was so severe that I would, I'd walk a few steps and I'd have to stop and sit if I had, or else I'd sit on my walker or if there was a bench nearby or something when I was out shopping and stuff. wasn't sleeping, so I was being tired all the time. 
What kind of sleep are you getting at nighttime? Like how long would it last? Maybe three hours maximum. And then that was interrupted with the pain also having to toss and turn and relocate to try to get the pain gone. So life was kind of rough then? It was hard. Um, how were you able to, let's say, like do yard work and stuff like that? I didn't do anything. My sister and her husband always did everything oh, for me. Did. Okay. My All sister right. even did the house cleaning for me, everything. Wow. We were lucky to have a sister like I that, am. that's for sure. <laughs> And you were taking quite a bit of medication at that time? Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Um, how was your disposition, would you say? Were you happy? Were you excited to be little? No, I was depressed. I was depressed. I was on, uh, not just because of this, but I was on um, antidepressants. Um, I didn't have a social life. I wasn't doing anything. Didn't go to movies or anything like that because I just didn't feel like it because of the pain. Wow. And this has been going on for how long? How many years? Well, I've had arthritis for 10 plus years. Okay. Now, you came in here on January 25th of 2018. You received the care. Give me an idea. Has anything changed? And <laughs> Everything's <so> changed. <laughs> Everything's changed. I'm a, I'm a new me. First first of all, the pain is, is minimal now. Um, my doctor in March took me off of my fentanyl and my Percocet, which are narcotics. I'm now only taking Motrin. Um, I'm sleeping all night, six to seven to eight hours even sometimes. I'm shopping and losing weight because I can walk. I've, I've lost 13 pounds since January, which is awesome for me. Doctors, both my doctors, my endocrinologist and my family doctor are impressed and excited for me. Um, but the most important thing that, that I can do, I raked my leaves in my, at my house for the first time in 10 years. In 10 years? In 10 years, and oh my sister my and brother-in-law have always done it, and I, I did it for the first time, and I, I even surprised myself. But, and then a neighbor, a neighbor drove by, and she did a Yui with her car because <laughs> she didn't, realize, didn't think it was me, and then she came back to say congratulations to me. So Wow, so the whole neighborhood was a yeah, everybody said, Everybody sees the change because I'm out now, and I'm not in the house all the time, and... Oh, doing my wonderful. own everything now. Fantastic. Yeah, big difference. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome.